a major technological initiative is currently forming in Russia. It has the potential to revolutionize the delivery of mobile connectivity to remote regions. The Center for Aerospace Technologies at the Fund for Advanced Research has announced its intention to implement stratospheric 5G communication platforms as early as 2027. Often called stratostats, these platforms aim to function in the stratosphere and provide high-speed, localized communication services. According to Jan Chibisov, the director of the center, a prototype is already being developed and will be used for the first live demonstrations in 2026. If the trials succeed, deployment will begin in 2027. The concept is innovative yet simple. Instead of relying only on costly satellite constellations that orbit hundreds or thousands of kilometers above Earth, Russia's strategy focuses on airborne or floating platforms. These maintain an altitude of about 20 to 25 kilometers in the stratosphere. From this vantage point, the platform works like a massive elevated mobile base station. It can project 5G connectivity across a wide region. One platform can cover the same area as hundreds of terrestrial antennas while delivering latency and bandwidth levels closer to ground-based mobile networks than to orbital systems. The immediate usefulness of even a single stratospheric 5G platform is remarkable. With the right payload, it can support the control and communication of unmanned aerial vehicles. It can also provide connectivity to geological exploration teams working in remote regions where normal infrastructure is missing or unreliable. The platform serves two purposes at once. It is a real-world testbed for space-grade 5G equipment in near-orbital conditions. At the same time, once in flight, it becomes a practical communication node that delivers value beyond experimental data. The project relies heavily on partnership with a domestic mobile operator. Official statements have not yet named the company involved, but Russia's largest carriers have already shown interest in non-terrestrial expansion. For such an operator, a stratospheric platform is a cost-effective way to create new service zones. This is especially true in areas where fiber, towers, or traditional infrastructure are too expensive to deploy. Users in these remote places will connect directly with their regular mobile devices without needing satellite dishes or special terminals. Stratospheric platforms are part of a larger global trend known as High Altitude Platform Stations, or HAPs. These systems take different forms. Some are solar-powered fixed-wing aircraft, some are large balloons with advanced control systems, and others are stratospheric airships. Regardless of design, they offer similar advantages. Operating far above commercial aviation but below satellites, they maintain a wide line of sight to the ground. A single station can cover tens of thousands of square kilometers. The shorter radio path length means lower power use and minimal latency, often just a few milliseconds. To operate day and night, HAPs usually rely on solar panels combined with high-density batteries or hydrogen fuel cells. Although payload capacity is less than satellites, it is sufficient for 5G base station equipment and phased array antennas. Trials elsewhere in the world have already shown multi-week or even multi-month flight durations with wide area coverage. This makes stratospheric 5G especially attractive for regions where demand exists, but building terrestrial networks is not practical. The Russian initiative balances two main goals. First, it tests 5G hardware that is space-grade under near-space conditions like radiation, extreme temperatures, and low pressure. This serves as a proving ground for future orbital technologies. Second, it delivers immediate real-world benefits. Each platform deployed will not just gather data, but also provide working communication services for remote industries and users. Comparisons with systems like Starlink highlight both strengths and limits. Satellite constellations excel at offering global coverage, including in polar, desert, and oceanic regions. They are already commercially mature and scale by adding satellites. 
However, they require massive upfront investment, complex logistics, and special ground terminals. Latency is lower in low Earth orbit than in geostationary orbit, but still cannot match the near terrestrial response of a stratospheric platform only 20 kilometers above ground. Stratospheric platforms do not aim to match the global reach of satellites. Instead, they specialize in delivering targeted, low latency, and cost effective coverage where it matters most. In sparsely populated regions of Russia, where density is low but connectivity is needed, a few platforms can provide consistent service at far lower cost than a satellite constellation. Unlike satellites, stratostats can be recovered, serviced, and relaunched with updated equipment. This adaptability ensures longevity and lower maintenance costs. The economic argument is strong. Building traditional infrastructure in rugged terrain is extremely costly, with little financial return due to fewer subscribers. Satellites solve coverage but require high capital and foreign dependencies. Stratospheric platforms, however, are cheaper to build and deploy, flexible in positioning, and provide user experience closer to ground-based 5G than to satellite internet. Their role is not to replace satellites, but to complement them by filling coverage gaps, ensuring connectivity, and supporting critical applications. Operational factors must be carefully managed. Frequency use has to match national regulations and avoid interfering with terrestrial or orbital systems. Airspace coordination is required so that platforms can rise, descend, and stay on station while remaining clear of commercial air traffic. To integrate smoothly with operator networks, billing, authentication, and quality of service systems must also be adapted. The program follows a clear schedule. In 2026, a prototype will test a 5G payload in flight. This trial will confirm hardware durability, coverage reliability, and network integration. If successful, the first operational platforms will launch in 2027, serving remote communities and specialized industries. More platforms may be added later to expand coverage and capacity. Strategically, the initiative carries weight beyond technology. By building its own stratospheric infrastructure, Russia signals an intent to reduce reliance on foreign satellite systems and boost domestic telecom sovereignty. It also opens doors for dual-use applications in both civilian and military fields. If successful, Russia would join a select group of nations, such as the United States, China, Japan, and members of Europe, that are pushing forward in high-altitude communication platforms. In summary, Russia's stratospheric 5G program is an ambitious plan to connect the gap between terrestrial networks and satellites. It offers a cost-effective way to bring mobile connectivity to remote regions. It also provides reliable communication for autonomous systems and field operations, while doubling as a testbed for advanced aerospace-grade technologies. Challenges remain, including endurance, regulations, and network integration. But if Russia succeeds, floating 5G platforms in the stratosphere by 2027 could transform national telecom infrastructure into a hybrid ecosystem of ground, space, and high-altitude systems. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.